Hi, I'm Katie Hawkins, owner of Unbridled Equine. We're going to go into how to massage the neck. Let's get started. We're gonna be looking at the neck from where the pole starts all the way down to where the neck meets the shoulder. There's three main muscles I'm gonna talk about with the neck. So, splenius, that runs up top here. Don't worry, you're not gonna be quizzed. Splenius runs up top along the mane, which runs right into the trapezius muscle, which is going from the splenius muscle back into the withers. Then we have the seven cervical vertebrae. The vertebrae run all the way from the top down into the shoulder. And then this big muscle underneath, it's super important. This is the brachiocephalic. The brachiocephalic runs directly in to the descending pectoral muscles. Now that we have a little bit of the anatomy covered, let's go into how to massage these different areas. We're gonna start with the splenius. You're gonna be taking your hands and you're gonna be doing a rocking motion back and forth, holding onto the mane. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Ryan's a little tall, but I'll, I, luckily I'm tall too, Ryan, right? So we're gonna first start by using that squeezing motion and rocking back and forth to get movement throughout that splenius and trapezius muscle. Ryan has a bit of tension up here, which he's showing by tossing his head. So we're gonna look for those releases that we talked about. Licking and chewing, yawning, softening the eye. We're gonna go again, starting up at the top, rocking back and forth, feeling where there's tension. Remember, less pressure is better to start. And you can do that rocking motion two or three times. Next, we're gonna work our way down the splenius using our full hand. Nice light pressure coming down the entire neck, helping to bring attention and warmth to all these muscles. Oh, and Ryan's showing us he's ready for his neck massage. We're gonna come again up top near the splenius muscle using a scooping motion, just like this. We're gonna work, I like to work from top to bottom. And so you're gonna work from the top all the way down. Good, he's starting to relax his head down. Excellent, showing us a little bit of pressure. Good, licking and chewing. After we do that scooping motion two or three times, you're gonna take your palm, almost like you're waving, but you're gonna take your palm down the cervical vertebrae, starting softly moving your way down, giving some pressure to that vertebrae area, opening up those muscles. Now, I love what Ryan's doing because he's bending. I was also gonna recommend, if you want, you can take them off the cross tie or loosen up the lead rope. And as you do this waving motion down the cervical vertebrae, you can bend their neck a little bit to that side to get into that vertebrae, each one a bit more. Thanks, Ryan, that was really helpful. I'm gonna put him back on the cross tie and work the final muscle, which is the brachiocephalic. So you're gonna hold your hand just like this, thumb on top of the muscle, your four fingers underneath. You're gonna see a groove. This is their trachea, so right above that, you're gonna see a groove that's where your four fingers are gonna go. Your thumb's gonna go on top and you're going to start to feel down this muscle and open up the tension. So what Ryan's showing me is he just put his ears back and he's showing me that he has some tension down in the brachiocephalic. So I'm gonna keep my pressure light to help him just ease into releasing this. One thing you can also do when a muscle is tight like that you can go to the belly of the muscle, which is the center of the muscle or the thickest part. That's where the most muscle fibers are at. You can work your way down. Stop with your thumb at this thick spot. Good, he's licking and chewing, so we're getting the release. And just apply some pressure with your thumb, maybe wiggling it back and forth a little bit. By releasing the belly of the muscle, you can oftentimes get a tight muscle like, there we go like Ryan has with his brachiocephalic to release by doing this. Really good. And then I'm gonna come back in, bringing my hand down. And this time I'm gonna continue down with my hand into the pectorals, doing a scooping motion down into the pecs. 
Does that feel good? Yeah, totally. <laughs> good, and I'm gonna do that again, coming down the brachiocephalic. Keep going and then scooping down into the descending pectorals. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about how to massage your horse. I know your horse will thank you. And don't forget, muscles never lie. If you're interested in learning more about massage techniques, finding massage videos, or you wanna sign up for a monthly newsletter that'll keep you up to date on everything Unbridled Equine, check out our website, unbridled-equine.com. Take care.